up, Olivia. Well, the boys are back in town. They're actually on the ice, and I found our boy Tim O'Brien out here who's back. What's up, Tim? What a way to spend a Monday together. Uh, it's the best place to be in all of the Valley. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind you can feel the energy already, and the place is just filling up. game hasn't even started yet. Puck hasn't even dropped, and we can already feel it, and more people are just filing in. They're on the ice right now. They're getting ready, but Tim, let's talk about this rush. We've talked about the talent up from the top to the bottom, from the rookie to the vets, and, you know, we talked about how Yeah, well, back in the day, the fourth line used to be the heavy hitters. They would make an impact on the ice with their physicality, their size. That's not the case anymore in today's hockey, whether it be the AHL or the NHL. And you've got to have depth, right? All four lines have to roll with skill and speed in order to, you know, get to that next level. You can't throw the same guys out for 35 minutes a night. Not with the physicality of a hockey game in the playoffs. It's, it's from a, a five and a six in the regular season to a 20 in terms of intensity of the playoffs. So you need that depth, and the Firebirds have it. It's unbelievable. And it's, in, and it's incredible that you say that because yeah. we've seen, we have so many weapons each and every night. I mean, Captain Max is doing his his job, but I mean, from the rookies, you have Ty Carshay doing it, uh, getting his job done, yeah. AHL Rookie of the Year. You also have Riker Evans. I mean, it's insane. You never know who's going to strike first on our on the Firebirds. No, and in fact, the Firebirds have about four or five healthy scratches. They don't even dress. That would start on probably 25 other teams in this league. So that's how deep they are, the depth of the team. And uh, look, Max McCormick and Cole Lynn had a little bit of a slow third round against Calgary. Max McCormick, of course, scoring in game five, turning the corner. And they held strong. They kept the float this long. If Max can turn it up, it's gonna. this game will be over quick tonight. I hope so. We hope for a quick one because they always like to come out hot and heavy. Yeah. And even, you know, what's funny, though, we are expecting more than 10,000 fans across the Coachella Valley right here in this one, just around us. I mean, it's insane to think that. There is not another team in this league that had a better attendance than the Coachella Valley Firebirds, and it's the inaugural season. We can't stress that enough. So, I mean, look, kudos to the Valley fans. It's unbelievable. Yeah, kudos to them because they make a difference each and every night, Tim, like we've seen. We've seen the energy here just really, and they feed off that energy. They've told us so many times that they feed off the energy from this crowd, guys. But we're going to be out here getting fired up. We're just minutes away from Puck Drop tonight. Tim and I will be here all night. But right now, it's going to do it for us. Live in Thousand Palms, I'm Charlie Toy. Tim O'Brien, that's going to do it for us. NBC Palm Springs News first. We'll send it back to you, Olivia.